Hello there. How are you doing today? Um, I had to wake up to specially do this one because it's the 20th video in this line of things that I've been sharing with um, sharing with us. All right, I decided to do about 20 videos on different things that help that will help you protect your money, especially if you have them in the bank or you use uh, ATM cards for transactions and you know all that concerning um, different things about protecting your money because there's hardly a day that goes by that I don't get a complaint of maybe something that happened to somebody's account or somebody uh, somebody did this, did that and right now um, they are kind of being hacked or stuff like that. So I decided to uh, put up this set of videos, these small, small snippets so that you can get the knowledge and also propagate to other people so that they don't become a victim of these guys I call or these people I call online and offline bandits. Like we said, it's not enough for you to be making money. It is also important that you protect the money you were making. All right, so this particular one is the 20th and after this, I'll take a break on this and do other things, you know, to help um, in other areas. Then of course, if you have any questions, anything, I can always do some to, you know, educate us here. Thank you so much for subscribing. So for those that have subscribed and clicking the notification button, if you've not subscribed, definitely kindly click the, notif the subscribe button and also tell your friends, share your friends. Uh, the knowledge here can really, really help you. It can it really help protect your money. And should you even have a situation with your bank or lose your money from something that has to do with maybe um, a hacked account and all that, I also I have some videos that I've shared on what to do instantly what to do when you get to your bank how to file your complaint who to talk to and what you know and all that there are many videos if you go down and see my other videos you see a lot a lot of all those things that i've shared to help all of us all right this particular one is because of especially the time of the year we find ourselves now all right why do these people get targeted almost every time why do they target this kind of people every time and who are these kind of people usually people that they call and they say hey i'm from so so and so bank or one thing one thing and my name is this this that that your name is this this that and they call your name and they say your bank account is with so so and so bank and they call your bank account and you're like oh wow they must know me very well because they called your name they called your bank account so and they're telling you that they're calling from the bank that they're doing one update or they are trying to uh, uh, pre um, um, help protect your account. They want thing they want to do to your account, but because they've called your name or called an information that you think is not uh, that you think is private, that is not supposed to be out there. That if you are not from the bank, you wouldn't know. Your defense is broken, so you're almost thinking, "Oh yeah, I think these people are real." Sometimes they even tell you that maybe you even had a situation that they maybe you wanted to withdraw and your ATM um, or machine couldn't dispense maybe because of a banking error and all that. You see, if you check wherever you've been experiencing a difficulty in withdrawal some days, you might say, oh, yes, 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 because that is even coincidental. So you think there is a problem somewhere. They were using that to profile you so that they will know if, 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 if which area you fall into. And the next thing they go, okay, they're doing this and they called you this, that do you have your card there? Can we have these so-and-so details or your BVN details? And they'll say, okay, they'll send an OTP to you, a code, and that's the code we need to prefer. Yeah, after this, you wouldn't have the problem again. Or after this, your card will be upgraded. Or after this, this will happen. Or after this, that will happen. And because they've mentioned some things that you thought nobody knew, especially your bank account and maybe some things that happened to you in the week, you say, oh, yes, and you release the code to them. And the next thing you see is boom, 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 a lot, a lot, a lot, David, a lot, and they will empty your account. So many people have fallen for this. And when they go to the bank to complain and all that, many times they don't even know how to file those kind of complaints. And secondly, the bank will tell them that you gave your information out away. So there's nothing they can do. And majority of the time, they never get their money back. So what do you do? No matter what, never ever give those details over the phone to somebody you do not know. Never. And what they do, some of them are so bold that they use a phone number to call you. They don't even conceal it, like maybe a new number. They use the phone number to call you. And when you try to call them afterwards, it's off. Line is not going. Network unreachable. They're done with that. All right. So 
to be very careful and be very wary of those kind of people. Never fall. Some people will ask, where do they get the information? How did they know my account number? Remember that things you may have filled online or offline in some certain places and you put your account number. Some people that have come with uh, some people that have come with um, a different scheme, register for this, send your account number. So you don't know where your account number has gone to. The fact that they have your account number doesn't mean anybody can hack it just because they have your account number. It's just like because you know my name, you can doesn't mean you can go to the bank and withdraw money from my account. All right, your account number can be out there like that. So that is not enough. Some will even say, okay, uh, you've been having problems with withdrawing recently, like yesterday you may have had a problem. Coincidentally, maybe you had a problem. It's just a coincidence. It doesn't mean that they know you from somewhere and all that. It's just a gimmick they play. All right. So why do they target people with this? In fact, if you check it, there's a set of people they usually target with this, with this kind of um, scheme. They look for people who are usually uneducated or unexposed or unenlightened about things like this. You could be educated but unenlightened about things like this. You could be exposed but unenlightened about things like this. So you fall prey to them. All right. So it's not about maybe somebody's a dollar and all that. It's just enlightenment in this area. So people like market women, traders, traders, people in rural areas, people who just came into the country. These are, you know, soft targets for this kind of people because they know that you're unenlightened and things like this. So, so, so now that you're getting this knowledge, or I cascade it to people that you know, market women and all that. I'm thinking to see if I can do uh, maybe a translated version in uh, maybe in some languages spoken by some people so that they will understand this thing. All right, I'll put it out there. Possibly, if you can do that, please do that and and spread this message to them and always tell them if they get any of any any such calls, they should not give out their details. They should just cut it. If they have any issues with their bank, they should go to the bank or call the customer care. Many of them have a branch close to them, all right? But they should never give such details. I have seen people lose their life savings. I've seen women who were roasting corn, women who were doing certain things, men who were selling in some, some petty trade, but they've put up some amounts of them, some of them running into millions, and they were defrauded by this same thing, all right? Some people say, okay, ah, so can the bank protect our details? Sometimes, sometimes it could be from a lost phone. And they go through your contact or your messages and see that you've sent your maybe your account to somebody before to maybe send you an amount. With that, they've got your account number. So they can easily get your account number from anywhere, either by error or by just um, um, uh, um, you know, life's happenings. All right. Sometimes some things you're not using before, you've thrown them away. Some of them may have contained account numbers. So it's not, that's not the issue. And even if they have it, it's not a problem. If many times, even if they have your BVN, there's little, nothing they can really do with it. But those authentication codes that they call you for, when we're trying to perfect the transaction and they require you to send it to them, many times it lies in there. Or some numbers in your ATM. In fact, even the banks know that they cannot ask you for your full ATM cards. Yeah. Some people didn't know that anything you're doing and they ask for your full ATM card, maybe from your bank over the phone, and it's not that you're making a payment online that you're typing it, all right? It's over the phone, you're, you're putting in that, and it's not like a phone kind of payment. Do not do it. Do not do it. And they're saying that because they ask you for your card, they ask you for your PIN, they ask you for your CCV, that's the, the, the twin digits at the back of your card. Ah. Those are indicative of something that's smelling fishy here. So do not fall for it, all right? So like I've told you how they do this, how they got your account number, how they got this, how they got that, and also the kind of people they target for this kind of thing. So they will target you once or twice and you don't fall, mm -mm -mm, because they know that this person is pretty enlightened and things like that. So they look for those who are not enlightened and things like this. And I've told you some of the examples of their soft target. People that do contributory uh, schemes, you know, a susu, a dashi, and all that, they hold us like that. So they, 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 sometimes they know how to get these people. Sometimes they may be people that are around the vicinity and they give this information out. Yeah, it can happen, all right? But if you're enlightened in this thing, as long as you never give those information out over the phone, especially the, the, over 90% of those things are done over the phone, that you will be protected. 
Hope this was helpful to you. And if, it's, if it has been or you know somebody that it will be helpful to, please share it to them. Also tell them or you yourself, if you have not subscribed, to subscribe to the channel so that let me see more things. Or there's some exciting things I'm, 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 that I'm coming up with in the next couple of weeks. All right. So I'm not regarding this. There's some new thing that we can always benefit from. And like I always say, like I always say, we learn, uh, we leave, we learn, we, you know, we grow, we make progress. All right. I'll keep bringing those um, kind of videos to you all right so this is the 20th we've done in this series all right so i'll put a pause on it there from time to time i may drop one or two but there's a new set of videos coming that will uplift you that will grant you and of course some of them will revolve around money maybe making it maybe investing it and a few other things around them some of them are just things that i just think would be of uh, of um of good use to you so once again thanks for subscribing for those who have subscribed and those who haven't kindly subscribed click the notification button so that when these videos come you always get them share them with your friends if you've not gone through the other videos just go through them you will see one or two things that you can learn or you will learn that will help you protect the hard earned money you are making no money is too small no money is too big to be protected till next time have a wonderful wonderful day